I'm Stacey, I'm the play worker for the Dorset Children's Hospice for Julia's House. Our nursing team are incredible, our care team are incredible, but it's really important to also have those other opportunities available to all of our children. We tend to have five or six hospice sessions per week. Some of them are, are crazy busy with children that are very mobile and very able. Some of them are very sensory orientated children that need a, a little bit more support. It's so exciting to be able to explore what you've got in the cupboard. Can you add shaving foam to it? Can you make it puffy? A blank piece of paper is just an opportunity ready to be had. It can give them that freedom, remove some inhibitions, allow them to be creative with no pressure. It can be about the process rather than an outcome. We can be led by the individual if they've got a plan in mind of how they want a piece of art to work. It could be that they're feeling really excitable and it's a big energetic piece of art or it can be a really calming, nice, soothing way. Or it could be just a couple of feet gently moving in a tray of paint or um, coloured rice, whatever it is to, to make those marks that are their own marks. It's that toing and froing of a conversation of do they want to add in this resource, do they want to add in this resource, and that actual expression of themselves, that understanding of their own perceptions of what they're able to do. One of my favourite areas for work is messy play. Messy play is great. It can give you that level playing field to just explore. It's about the process, it's not about an end result. It's about the feel of a texture on your hands or on your feet. It's that expression, that feeling, the sounds it makes, the squelch, the squirming. We've used cake mixtures, we use cut fruit, bit of all sorts, add some tools in. It can just bring that sense of fun. At the end of the day, that's what we want for our children and young people. We want that sense of fun. I think the end of life um, side of things is always going to be tricky. Um, we can always make um, keepsakes uh, from hand and footprints, making those hand footprints into fun art that's relevant to the child, whether that's they're keen to be in the garden and you can make two footprints to make into a beautiful butterfly or a bee or a ladybird um, that's relevant to the child because that's their outside space that they've always enjoyed. It can be a shared experience as well. We do um, lots of family support areas um, that support the wider family, so the grandparents, the siblings, the parents. So with that, with the artwork, we can actually bring in so that everybody can contribute. If someone could have a nice passing, if there's ever such a thing, could we make that happen through art? It's just that opportunity that is so valuable.